We are about, what, a month away uh, to the inauguration. Michael Moore now calling for people to disrupt the celebrations. Colin McShane is with us. He's live outside Trump Tower. Now, what does Mr. Moore propose? Stuart, and you know, whatever you think of Michael Moore, he's a popular guy, right? I mean, he has like three and a half million followers nearly on Twitter. So when he gets involved in something, as he has now, it probably gives it more attention than it might ordinarily get. And um, yesterday, early in the morning, so it's been out there 24 plus hours, he posted the following on Twitter. It said, disrupt the inauguration. The majority have spoken by nearly 2.7 million votes and counting. Silence is not an option. Obviously talking about the popular vote, but also providing a link to a website of there's some local activists down in the D.C. area. Those are the people he's giving more attention to. Who are they and what do they want? Well, we clicked on that link and went to their website and just pulled a little piece of it off that will give you an idea. And I'm reading again. We call on all people of good conscience to join in disrupting the ceremonies. If Trump is to be inaugurated at all, let it happen behind closed doors, showing the true face of the security state Trump will preside over. So that's it, Stuart. They want people out of the streets, and they openly say they want them to disrupt the inauguration by setting up blockades, disrupting traffic, disrupting mass transit, that type of thing on the 20th of January. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not shocked? But thanks for pointing yeah. it all out to us, Colin. Good stuff. We'll see you again soon. Get rid of those bugs.